Um, we had moments where we saw Nabi at outstanding level uh, because he's an incredible player. Um, but we spoke about that. Interrupted through injuries and stuff like this. Um, um, he couldn't get real rhythm. And now he's in a completely different situation. So it's probably the longest spell he was without an injury, to be honest. Um, and um, no, I'm not surprised about him saying that because I see it the same way. Dominic, and then Paul. Um, just back to the, like, the, the whole um, country support Liverpool thing. Do you almost take it as a backhanded compliment? Do you, do you, you've got no word of English, backhanded compliment? No, no. <laughs> I think it should take it as a backhanded compliment if he means it as a backhanded compliment. I didn't. Well, he wouldn't be talking about, my point is, he wouldn't be talking about it if he wasn't worried about Liverpool still being a threat. I can't imagine how the situation we would not be there. We would not be that close. Imagine that situation. Then the, the, the interviews would be boring like whatever. You have to make sure that some excitement, and we talk about, yeah, the, and there is an exciting battle for who will stay in the league, and there's an exciting battle for who will qualify for the Champions League. But imagine now we would be that close. And I do, that's completely normal. We all feel the, the tension. We cannot, we cannot say we don't feel it. How, after, after, after the Tottenham game, it was not that I thought, oh, great, <laughs> that this happened. But before you can deal with your own emotions, you face already 20 cameras. So, and that's how it is, and that's what Pep did in this moment. So, and obviously, there are a few things that I don't take it as a, a nice thank you very much for learning something new, a backhanded compliment. Um, but even the German version of this saying, I didn't think for a second when I saw it. I rather think that, that uh, yeah, this, uh, whatever, whatever I said in the last press conference, or whatever anybody said, um, and then he probably thought he has to make this point. Um, you know all much better than I do that it's not the case. So <laughs> that's, uh, even you wear a blue shirt today, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Keep me on my toes. Um, and so it's really it's all fine. Nothing what Pep said will change. Our situation and um, it's absolutely fine. Okay, Paul, I think that's us for this press call. I'll finish with Dave. Go on, Paul, and then Dave. Yeah. Hey, would, would you um, contact Antonio Conte since the weekend? No. Ah, no. oh, because. Just because you've brought up a couple of times that you want when you have a camera in your face immediately after. No, it's, no, no, no. It's what I think. Right. It's just not what I should say. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not appropriate. So it's like you, we didn't lose, but I felt like in a moment you lose. And I was really, I, I thought, well, I, it was all fine. Um, you say what you have to say, these kind of things. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, one of you guys, I'm not sure, asked, and what do you have to say? Huh? Great, how, how Tottenham defended. And it was like the moment it clicked. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and I mean it when I say I couldn't coach it. So that means that's a, actually a compliment. A backhand. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't. I, 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 I couldn't. It's, it's like what, what they do is incredible. So, but in, in, it's so difficult for the opponent, obviously, which is one part of the job we have to do. So make it really difficult for the opponent. So they make it really difficult for the opponent to score. That's true. Um, but it's just like... In the moment you, and you don't score, means ball is still in game and play, obviously, probably. And in that moment, Harry Kane gets on the ball. And that's not a brain fog. Yeah, that's really then the other thing. And that, what can you do in these moments? What can you do in these moments? And that's, and that's, and that's why that, all respect. And the main message is I couldn't coach that. And that's that. Positive. So, and if Antonio hears that, sees that, whatever, then he might think, uh, so Diego Simeone, I mentioned Atletico, great. Uh, can't wait to face them next time in the Champions League. So, yes, you will all give me that back. So, that's what I mean. It's not necessary to say these kind of things. Um, but it was out before I started thinking again. Thank you. Finish with that. No, Dave's finished. Is that you? Happy Paul? Okay. Oh, great. Happy? Follow from Paul's finish, though. Just on, on the way, um, probably offensively, as a team, 
put in a lot of crosses, I think it was like six crosses. It was like, do, do you think there was a lack of, what, what would you put that down to? Oh. Was it a lack of patience? Was it tiredness? Was it? Was it yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like the 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 easy the, rot, the the crosses you can read easy. They they are not useful in a game like this with the profile of players they have in the box. That makes no sense. But it it happens. You get the ball there, not a lot of options around, stuff like this. So pass it back in the center. But what you usually have to do, like keep going to. to to find a moment, momentum really, where, or to a moment where you really can pass through the gaps, get to the touchline, square it from there, these kind of things. Um, yeah, it's it's just the situation. It be, it, the the main challenge in the game like is that you are constantly in, in a creating mood, knowing each missed pass is a massive problem. So that is really. Difficult to to stay calm in these moments. So that's that that uh, to to do exactly the right thing. But we had other. I spoke about a few moments, but the, I'm not sure you they were counted as crosses. But if we chip the ball from half left to handle, like close to the touch lines, in behind the wing back, and we are there and square the ball from there. That's a great football moment. But that was then the moment when we just were we didn't anticipate it well enough. So these kind of moments which we uh, we had. So. Um, in the end, you count crosses. If we would have won three, one, you wouldn't have counted crosses. I mean, there was still the number there, but you would have not asked me about that. You cross, but in a decisive moments, you did the right stuff. So, and that's a little bit of a problem. So we, um, oh, I said it was not a perfect game, but a general approach for the game. So I, again, the, the, the counter press was completely different level. We win it, and we talk about that. Wow, the counter press of Liverpool. We don't win it. We just forget it. I don't, because that keeps us going. That keeps us in there. That, that's much better. So no counter press, for example, but winning one nil, and five games to go, two finals, or five finals. Sorry, five finals to go, and you have to boys. We have so because then something happened beforehand. That is all of a sudden it's gone, and um, we lo we lost. Broken, yeah, that's the, that's my that's how I see it. That's how I saw the game. So let's keep going from there. Um, and that it not always works out. That's the nature of the thing. We cannot. That, that's that's how it is. And with the quality of the opponent and the goalkeeper and all these guys around, that is makes it really makes it really, And you know, we had the situations when Birch hits the the header here instead of here. It's at least a bit a better chance than hitting the crossbar. All these kind of things. There are two two situations I think from from that moment. So we didn't score from a set piece, but we could have because everything was nearly perfect. And then you have to accept that, and I do that. And now let's um, use the good things, delete the bad things, and go from here.